class. The reality that 47 million men, women, and children today live in poverty. It is about understanding that if we do not transform our economy, our younger generation will likely have a lower standard of living than their parents. This election is about ending the grotesque level of income and wealth inequality in America today. It is not moral, it is not acceptable, and it is not sustainable that the top one-tenth of one percent now owns almost as much wealth as the bottom 90 percent. Or that the top one percent in recent years has earned 85 percent of all new income. That is unacceptable. That must change. This election is about remembering where we were seven and a half years ago when President Obama came into office after eight years of Republican trickle-down economics. The Republicans want us to forget that as a result of the greed, recklessness, and illegal behavior on Wall Street, our economy was in the worst economic downturn since the Great Depression. That's where we were. That is where we were. Some 800,000 people a month were losing their jobs, 800,000 people. We were running up a record-breaking deficit of $1.4 trillion. And by the way, the world's financial system was on the verge of collapse. That's where we were when President Obama came into office. Well, we have come a long way in the last seven and a half years, and I thank President Obama and Vice President Biden. I thank them for their leadership in pulling us out of that terrible recession. Yes, we have made progress, but I think we can all agree that much, much more needs to be done. This election is about which candidate understands the real problems facing this country and has offered real solutions. Not just bombast, not just fear-mongering, not just name-calling and divisiveness. We need leadership in this country which will improve the lives of working families, the children, the elderly, the sick, and the poor. We need leadership which brings our people together and makes us stronger. Not leadership which insults Latinos and Mexicans, insults Muslims and women, African Americans and veterans, and seeks to divide us up. By these measures, any objective observer will conclude that based on 